All right, YouTube, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. My name is Sweat, if you guys are new, and in today's video, you already know the deal by now. We got a whole playlist going of these ranked gameplay walkthroughs, okay? I'm breaking down the decisions that I'm making. Anything that I do wrong, I am correcting for you on screen so that you know not to make these mistakes in your own lobbies, and hopefully... I can learn from my mistakes, you can learn from my mistakes, and everybody can get better and rank up in Apex Legends Season 7. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. This is quite, this is a little bit more lengthy gameplay, so I'm going to hop right into it. Here. Three three times. Times. You taking that three times? You can have it. Just ping me a four time. I'll take a two to four. You got a two to four? Here. You don't want? Give me the two to four. I don't I'll know. Take I got a flat one. No, whatever you prefer, Spike. I, yeah, yeah I two like to four. Triple. I got a triple take. <clears throat> you third party three times are still there, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Extended light magazine here. Level two. Where was that? It's we falling do. on the map, see ya. There's another Where was that three times? In the building, right next, in to house, right next to us. He's still the in that house? Ones, right? I think so. It's right next to us. Jumped underneath. Watch yourself. With the Middle East? Yeah. They're, They're on me, bro. Them. They're on me. Take this up, line up to me. Take it down. Take the only it down. Um, They're the only one. On the way. Nice. On a zip now. Oh, there's zip. Yeah. Crash. One. Beam, beam, beam. Nice. Oh my god, it's alternator. It's disgusting. All right, so right there during that scenario, Sultan was a little bit separate. I don't know what he was doing back here, maybe looting for a while, but it ended up working out for the better and not biting us in the butt. But in the higher lobbies, once you get into the higher ranked, like Diamond and Predator, if that was a whole team zipping on Sultan, he would have been totally dead. There would have been no chance for him to 1v3 that. But thankfully, he fended off the first guy and it was only a team of two. So just make sure you're sticking with your teammates, guys. It's absolutely essential, especially in the higher ranks. Thankfully, it worked out for us, like I said. So no harm, no foul. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Weak, but disgusting. The ring isn't very close. Need a battery? <sighs> I got one. No. No, I yeah, we'll got go. one. I have one. Can't even get on this one. Yes, I'm head glitching this. Which side are they on? Side, got it. Debbie blue, almost cracked. Oh. Cracked them. They all to the roof. I'm throwing my all at them too. Get off, get off. I'm gonna black hole if I can. I might have caught one with that. Uh, I cracked all of them, all of them. I hit every single one of them. Push, 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 push. I hit every single one of them. Come here, come here, come here. He's underneath me. He's underneath Wait, me. Wait, one's, un one's over here. Oh. Yeah, one's come. on my side. He's la- Oh my god, he's lagging. I got you, I got you, I got you. Almost cracked that. Got you. Dude, that all came in clutch. It hit all three of them 80 plus. So right there during that gunfight, guys, in the beginning, I was a little hesitant to push out the door, and you saw exactly why. I got beamed right off the bat by that ultimate. I thought that was Control's ultimate because he said, that's my ult, whatever. So I walked outside, got hit instantly by a Gibby ult or somebody's ult, and was almost dead. So that just put me in a terrible scenario, and I had to full heal up while Control and Sultan were pushing that other guy because there was a guy on my left that I needed to 1v1, ends up cleaning him up. It was a good scenario at the end, but in the beginning of that fight, I couldn't really push out because they had a good angle on me, and also that ult was coming down, which proved to not be Control, so that kind of screwed me over, but we're alive. 
Oh, the ooh. Care package being delivered. Oh, uh, give me this. You got a Lobo the... that you're using over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step on it. Hitching a ride. Let's get moving. Right there. Oh my. We're not in zone though. Hold on. Wanna... I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. You can clean them up, but this is a third party central. Let's see up to knock here. Yeah, go this way. The bad hag like bag and glitcher. <laughs> They're in the in the this development over there. I don't have any long range, so that's all you boys. They might get third of there though. They're not even in zone there. Shots up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hit him a couple times. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chill right here. That person you're shooting attack. <laughs> What'd you uh, say? Who's weak? Right here. Lifeline, I think. One bullet. She's so ah, uh, she got a bat off. First, I hit her for twenty. Maybe we just take this and leave. Well, Lobos. Let's get out. Okay. Yeah. Up. You wanna go up top? Top. There's probably a squad up here. Uh, there is well, I'll keep going. If there is, I'll keep going. Audio, audio gets fucked up here. Yeah, you can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> All right, whatever. Where you gonna go? No. One more. One more team behind us shooting us. Right here. Hostile spotted. No? 87. Path is one shot. Okay. So before this fight continues, you can see just exactly how crucial having a long range weapon on this map is. Like I said in previous videos, this is a wide open map. So having a triple take or having a G7 almost every game can guarantee you some easy knocks right there. Unfortunately, none of my teammates were looking at the same guy that I was. We should have kind of focus fired one enemy right there and we would have got a knock easily. But I took the shot a little prematurely. But nonetheless, that guy was almost one bullet. Almost one bullet. He's out of the fight already. And then it's a 2v3 them against us i think we have the advantage right there so i definitely say take long range weapons on this map for sure Not even. how did i hit me maybe he's almost cracked absolutely no angle apparently. right here give me 69 on one of them Bro, I just hit you for 69 you're still peeking me. 37 on the- or 39 on that guy? I got their drone. Nice. We're gonna take zip across. 46. 72. Crack. Path, he's so one shot! Oh my god, I hit him I eight no times. Shot. If I had long range, this team is dead. Where's that res? He swapped the blue path. People down oh, here. I said we summed that too. Are they party that lose. team or no? Could. That's a terrible spot the third though. We're gonna get forced in fifth. Not too bad if we play up here. You guys got it. That one team has got a red, so they Yeah, one fighting. bullet, one bullet. We killed that guy. Another squad. 23. Who is throwing arcs at me? Perfect us. arc. Honest. Yeah, they're pushing down, they're pushing down control. I'm throwing my one. I'm throwing my one, you guys. Hathi's low on roof. Hathi's one on roof. Lobo's very big. 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 I can't. I can't do anything. Hey, one flash, two flash, three flash. Nice. Behind you, control. 
Taking a bat, holding it at the door. He's gonna get me. Trolls is better. Let's go. Lobo's on top. Path. Watch out with the, the guy on top. Oh uh, someone else. Yep, he has uh, sofas. He just better. Let's go. Shit. Alright, so aside from these guys just being absolutely goaded and killing everybody there. My flatline shots were absolutely awful right there, okay? I should have definitely been able to kill that Pathfinder, and I should have waited till after Sultan went inside because I was already almost cracked armor when I went on that lifeline trying to shoot her. But I feel like we're going to need a settings video soon, guys. We might need a little bit of a swap on the settings, and I don't know if I can... I don't know. We'll see. The hip fire was a little bit eerie right there. I should have been able to hit more flatline shots than I did, and I definitely would have knocked Pathfinder if I hit those flatline hip fire shots. So maybe settings video incoming, but just make sure that your settings are good enough to hit hip fire shots and control your ADS sensitivity at whatever speed you have it set to. If you have it on 5.4, if you have it on 6.3, no matter what you have it on, make sure you can control each because they're both crucial in their own separate ways, obviously. Thank you, Chase. Well, I can't wait to pop that trophy next to my PhDs. Oh my goodness. The boys. Yeah. Get rid of this alternator, even though it's good. Just need a long range. Um, I'm dropping a gold alternator. All right, we have a chance for a third party. Get ready, boys. Yep, 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 yep. Need uh sniper ammo. Check that. I think that low ball might have something new. Gold wingman. None. You gotta rotate. Pop my ultimate accelerant. Mm-hmm. We got a good shot. Oh my god, we have and Gibby, get ready. I find down. He's running up. We need a cross. I say we cross. Crack, we need crack, position. Crack. We need position. If he's one bullet. Yeah. I knock one over there. Knocked he's rising right there. On top, hold on. Let's clear it back. Or we get third. In. We let Gibby get up. Or no? uh, it wasn't Gibby. It was Gibby. Another... Yeah, he knocked like one. I have my black one. You almost cracked. I'm coming back to you. Right. You want to come over? No, I'm looking. You got the kill on him. Crack Gibby. Hmm, careful. There's another Should be able to clean up. Now. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming up. I'm Half purple cracked. Time. Half his rift right here. This is the original team. Be honest, be honest. Yep, that's the original team. Lifeline's cracked. Crack one. Lifeline's down. Can't move, bro. I, I down two of them. Yeah, don't move, don't move. Sweat. You hear the crack on me? Low. It's one bullet. I think he fell off the map. Yep. Get me on, close. Right, Evo. Oh, Almost cracked. 84 red. No angle. How? I'm taking oh, this. Oh, my God. Hey, you got up. Good shit. Coming up. Pack this one. Pack this one. I need you control. I was flash healing the whole time, man. All right, so we're going to pause right here. The main reason that I went down here is because I didn't take that med kit when I really needed to. But at the same time, I wanted to help my teammates out because I don't want to just let them die while I'm healing up because then it's a 1v3 in the other team's favor, okay? And then we're never going to win that scenario. Like 99% of the time, we're going to lose that scenario. So I decided to grapple in on the Gibby, which might not have been the best idea because I didn't have full health. Also, there was a guy on roof shooting me. I got double teamed. It was just a bad scenario. So, I mean, in that scenario, I probably would have just kept healing up. I didn't know that control was getting up and I didn't know that Sultan was still full health at the time. This would have made a big difference in my decision making and I probably could have got a knock right here. I just really wanted to help out the team and get involved in the action and take some gunfire away from them. And it ends up working out for us. But other than that, the nasty third party right behind us. Sultan had just checked that way, and apparently 
there happens to be a team that's right behind us so make sure you're always checking your angles it's a good thing that control saw this third party early because we could have all been dead from it if he didn't give up everybody don't get past an angle nice good job yep heal up Play slow. heal up that's the last one i'll tell you if he's pushing still behind there mm -hmm. you should have taken this freaking red man you can fake the res, bait him out. You're calling me, sweat. I I'm gonna go for the res on sweat. Yep. I got your back. He's gonna get res and Gibby, res and Gibby now. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You have nothing on that shield, bro. I know, it's fine, it's fine. I'm taking a bat, I'm taking a bat. Two beat him. Sending. Oh, the worst mistake of his life. Last one, Gibby in the back. Res him, yep. Gibby's gonna push while you need Oh, he's not, he's not, dude. He's fine, he's running. He's gonna push shit. One bullet. He's gonna push shit. Oh my god, this is worst crap ever. Confirmed kill. Dude, I need somebody with me. Like, I don't know how much damage I have to do. Bro, I was down, I had a self res. I took what a, I took a life? med uh, that and then I, I pushed out. Oh, I took a med kit too. I thought you guys were fine. Don't over push. We have to cross uh, control. Yeah. Oh, come back. To us. So right there, I'm just following that guy for as long as I possibly can. And if we do end up running into another team, I'm going to just turn back really, really quickly if he ends up getting killed by the other team. But I know that a Gibby is not going to outrun a Pathfinder, so I figure might as well clean this guy up. Don't want him, let him be a solo and he can rat out to the end and maybe kill us in the end of the game. Or even get his teammates banners and res behind us. That is not what we want, so I decided to finish off the squad, which ended up being the right decision. But just make sure that when you are chasing solos, make sure to not run into full teams. Because a lot of the times when there's a solo, they'll try to bait you into another team and you'll just get pinched and it won't be a good scenario. This is going with him. Oh, man. This shit bouncy as hell. What the fuck? I'd have crafted that. Yeah, that was my fault. I was just, I got knocked, so I went for the incest. Come on, bro, relax. Let me just craft. Wow, bro, you're so good, man. Dude. I can't, I can couldn't grab any uh, team behind you. Another guy on you. He's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's down. Yeah, yeah, that's all you, that's all you. Good shit, good shit. That's my ult too. Perfect. Where'd he get down at? Where'd he get down? Pink's pink. Right here, right here, right here. I hit one, flash, but this guy Black holding there, back hole, back hole. Down guy's dead. More deep, more deep has to be. Yeah, yeah, He's over here. Bloodhound. Yep, on the roof. Wraith blue. Cracked Wraith. Beamed Wraith. Wraith is one. Wraith is one. Wraith is one. There's another team coming. I hit a 46 slash. Don't put all over contest. All down is cracked. I don't know where that Wraith is. Down low. I have a good angle though up here. They're healing up. Let's go. They're healing up in here. There's another team. Uh, yeah, there's another team. 100%. Wraith is holding door cake in a Phoenix. Um, go the other way. We got this door. Yep. Hold the door. Hold the door. Don't let her get out. Portaling out. Hold the door. Other team. So I said we shouldn't contest this. We can go back up. And you guys heal up. Wow, dude. I have no ammo. Yeah, next time, don't get that sniper ammo on me. Yeah, I need that. 100%. You guys have extra bats? No bats. I have one bat. No cells. My last flash is there a, there's a craft over there, man. In that scenario, we're getting a little bit too aggressive on that fight. We know there's two teams around because Control said there was another team in the distance. So, like I said, always be aware of third parties. You never want to take a fight where another team is just lurking around and they can easily clean you up in case one of you guys goes down. I loot his dog meat. We can go up to the crafter. I have, uh... Only 30 seconds left on the clock. The ring's close. Back one. 
Maybe it's down here. Hey, I hit a couple of them. I'm gonna get back up here again. Hmm. I'm coming. Try, I think there's a team to the right somewhere. Not that far, obviously, but... Yeah, there's a team down there. We can try to hold them out while these two teams there's are There's a bloodhound, like, right here. Can you see him? I can't see anything right now. Crack the bloodhound. Oh, they have circle in there. The yeah, I need to go loot that. Is there, is there, energy, or, uh, sniper? Is there a sniper? Is there a sniper? I have no, uh, no shields. I need, here, I need but those. But there's bats and cells in here. I almost knocked the wraith. Oh no, wraith is 20 HP. And then there's a team over there. Yep. Bloodhound somewhere. Let's say I stay here so I can hold this team out. Get a nice angle on them. How many are here? Where's this other team? I, I saw Gibby and a wraith. I'll be a whole team. Though. I heard bloodhound. Blood, I got the. Whole team. They're trying so hard to kill me. Oh my god, they're trying so hard to kill me. They didn't shoot me once. I have the nastiest heady right now. Holy we can kill his team down here and get zone. What do you want to do? Yeah, but we don't want this team to rotate. I'm gonna, in. Black hold hold I'm gonna knock one in a second. Play up close on this. They're in shambles yeah, right now. They're in absolute Yo, Swag, get us, get us up on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just throw it there. Just to get them scared. Let's are they there? there? They're not up top, are they? They are in the corner. The corner. Oh, the corner. okay, okay. So this situation right here is a little bit different. Since the team down below has zone, unless there's two squads left, they're probably not going to push up the hill out of zone. It would just make no sense for the team because they're putting themselves at risk of just losing placement points. So we decided to take this team out behind us or at least try with this zip line. Ends up working out for us. And then we can, uh, at the end, push down towards zone and make that push. All in all, we only saw two people down in zone, so they're probably going to want to keep zone. Like I said, they're not going to want to push up with two people in case there's a whole team waiting for them up at the top of the hill. So we figured we could take that team out later on in the uh, in the match. You get a black hole. Me. Let me know. Gibby's almost cracked. Or not Gibby. Uh, Love him. I'll tell you when to make one one shot. Right, I'm going to black hole it. These kids are just... Yeah. Back to Wraith. Wraith is one. I'm gonna go in black hole. They're burning. Down, down. We're, getting, we're getting shot in the back. I'm throwing a smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay right we're here. Stuck. We're stuck here. Nice. I can't move. GG's. I can't move. Watch out. Watch out. Maybe got the road. One. Oh my god. He's dead. Wraith portal down. Blood on down. I'm gonna jump, man. Awesome he all dead, all dead. Left no bat still, but it's whatever. Taking my one bat, fuck it. Jesus, I should've been dead. I didn't six, get beamed in the back. That six bullets of ammo. There, so hold on, we need we need. They're holding here. in front of us. Yeah. He's smoking them. Maybe 60. I'm still in zone right that, here. Though. Oh my. Is that a solo there? Yes, yes, yes. Beamed, cracked. I hit, I hit them hard. Nice. Da, 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 hey, Gibby. Da, da. Gibby came out of portal. I hit him. I'm looking for a bat real quick. Wraith almost yeah, cracked. Control. Can't do anything. I need help. One, he's one. Wraith almost cracked. Should be a 2v2. Gibby has blue. Gibby blue. So right now, control is downed on this corner, right? First of all, let's talk about the solo that was rotating in from the left side. We had to take that solo out so that we could get ring location on this last zone unless we zipped up top, which I probably should have done. I probably should have called out, but this solo would have never been dead if we didn't go over to the left. So we wiped the solo out. Now it is a squad v squad fight. These guys only have two, I believe. And control is down. So what I'm going to do is hold the angle that Sultan is at right now. In the middle of the screen right here. I'm going to hold this little head glitch. And shoot towards them so that they cannot push. And we can get the res. And it's a 3v2 again in our favor. Remember that. Fake the res. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Give your ult control. I'm going to go armor swap behind him. Give his gun chill down. 
Trade crack, 190 on the raid. Good job, good job. I'm sending, they're sending. So right here, he's saying they're sending, they're sending. I should have definitely been more vocal about setting the zip line up top. It would have been a way better play and gave us a better angle on this Gibby and the Wraith here. Instead, control ends up going down below, and we end up having Gibby bury one shot. The only reason I didn't want to push is because my health was a little bit low at the time, but I definitely should have pushed down. Looking back on it now, I had about 150 health, so it would have been a lot easier if I just pushed down from the top right away here towards the end. And then Sultan ends up cleaning it up, and you're going to see what happens. Get up, get up, get up. Gibby beam. Gibby armor shield gone. Gibby's one, Gibby's one. Gibby's so Gibby one. Right weak, weak. Jump on him, jump on him. It's a 2v2, guys. You're literally jumping right now. Drop. Why not jumping? Gotta knock it, dude. Nice. Nice. Let's go, baby. Come on. You're better. Let's go, baby. Don't be scared. Fight that. Come on, come on. <sighs> don't be scared of that. We had, so. it was a 2 No, I wasn't scared. I had no bats control. No, but I'm saying. I took well, a few cells. When you hit cells. him for 119, how much did they hit you for? All right, a little bit of group banter towards the end of that game, but overall a solid game. Quite a few mistakes still that we could have definitely picked up on and definitely done better where none of us might have went down in some scenarios, but if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed or learned anything. It's been Sweat. I will catch you in the next episode of this ranked gameplay review series, and peace out.